When we start and we talk about structure and skeletal design, uh, one of the places that we'll look at first is we'll look at the, the skeletal, the design, and, and how this shoulder is laid in. Because on so many times on these prospect cattle, these steers, uh, they're bred for kind of the extremes and, and the, the soundness of front end, how correct their skeletal structure in the front end is often compromised. So one of the things that, that's important is the correct angulation of this shoulder. And essentially, if we look at the top of the shoulder to the point of the shoulder back to his elbow, this area should be a 90 degree angle. And so to demonstrate that, we're gonna use some washable paint uh, to draw some, some uh, points that kind of give us some, some boundaries on these cattle and, and let us know where we are. And so we, we drew a, a point at the top of the shoulder, the point of the shoulder, and then back down at the elbow of that. And then if we co connect the dots on these, okay, and then if we study that angle there, we should have on an animal that's structurally sound, there should be, this should be a 90 degree angle. If we look at it from the top of the shoulder to the point of the shoulder to the point of that elbow, connecting those dots, looking at that angle, we should have about 90 degrees. If this angle is wider than 90 degrees, what that means is the shoulder is pushed back, okay, and the animal begins to look straighter in his makeup. And so when that shoulder gets pushed back, we term those cattle as straighter fronted. And what happens is there's not any really flex or cushion in these joints. We have a lot of downward pressure and we begin to see some problems. The next thing we look at is we look at how that animal that angulation transfers on down to the foot of the animal. An animal with a 90 degree angle here his leg, as he goes down, and we use this crooked show stick to demonstrate that, essentially, if we look at him from the side, okay, the knee should be set back somewhat. And so what we'll end up with is some angulation, a curvature. That knee is gently set back. The front foot is forward a little bit. There's a little bit of angulation into this pastern down here as well. That's the true, that's what we like to look for in these cattle that have the correct angulation. Whenever this shoulder's pushed back, we get a greater than 90 degree angle and that animal is deemed what we call straight fronted. What we'll often see on those cattle, even as babies, that knee will stick out forward and begin to be straight up and down. You won't have this angulation here. As that animal gets heavier and heavier, what you'll begin to see is to relieve some of the press, pressure and the stress on his joints, his knee will tend to buck forward or protrude forward over the front of his foot. And he does that as a way to try to relieve some of the stress and the stress on those, those joints, relieve some of the pain as well. And it's important if you see, if you've got an animal that's too straight in the beginning, not enough angulation here and too straight on this leg here, either straight in the pasterns or straight in his knee, what you'll end up is that animal gets heavier and heavier, that animal what we'll term as bucking over, where the knee will buck over and he won't be sound on that front end. Oftentimes on those cattle that are too straight up here, they'll also be unsound as we view them from behind and the front feet will actually toe out extremely bad as well. And so that's, that's the first part of when we're looking at the skeleton of the animal. Then as we come around behind, we kind of study the hind leg in the same fashion. Okay, and what we want to do is, an animal, when he's correct in a skeletal design, He's not only correct down in his legs, which is what we're often looking, looking for, but he's also correct even from a, a, a pelvis area. And so if we study that, okay, we look at his hook bones right here, okay, and then we come around to his pin bones 
which are right here, we essentially would like his hooks to his pins to be pretty much leveled. Now there will be just a little bit of a slight uh, drop there from this point to this point, and that's okay. When we see some, when the pin bones are moved back down to here, uh, those cattle will tend to be more sickle hocked and they walk under themselves a little bit. So we look for this line from here to here, and then we, if we imagine how that animal and how that pelvis area is put together, okay, and we'll know that we've got a, the structure will come down from here, and then it will come back here, and then come down. And so, as we look at this particular steer, and we look at the angulation, and we look at the angle of that hind leg, on the inside, he's got about the correct uh, set to his hind leg. We look at it from behind, you'll notice he's got about the correct set here as well, when we look at the, the point of his hock. If we imagine, look under the hide, we've got the correct angle as these joints come together here, and the way his hip is all set together. Now, if that animal is too straight in his design, too straight in his hind leg or what we term post-legged, what you'll end up seeing is uh, this joint here is pushed back a little bit and this joint's pushed forward and essentially the animal looks like he's post-legged. And those cattle that are post-legged, oftentimes when you, when you see them on the move, uh, they don't have any flex in their pasterns here. And when you see them on the move, you won't see that back foot meet or touch where the front foot left off. Uh, and that's kind of the ideal animal. When they get out and move, their back foot ought to find, hit the spot that the front foot let off. Straight hind-legged cattle will oftentimes will miss that front step and what we'll term them as shorter strided. And over time, as those cattle get heavier and heavier, there's more pressure on those hind legs and they will break down over time. This is extremely important in breeding cattle because we'll keep them over years and years and we can see some of those problems get worse and worse. It's just as important in market steers that are going to be harvested when they're about 17 to 24 months of age. Um, the flip side, we certainly don't want cattle that have too much of an angle in here, okay? What we term sickle hocked, okay? And those cattle that are sickle hocked will oftentimes, whenever they're walking on the move, their hind leg will step in front of where their front leg left off. And, and those cattle, in addition to being sickle hocked, they'll also tend to drop their pins on the move as well, and they won't be level from here to here in there. And then as we get around behind the cattle, we certainly want them to walk with their feet, their toes pointed straight forward. Uh, we don't want them hocked in or even turned out. And so when we view them from behind, we want their hind legs to be perfectly straight up and down uh, and not hocked in uh, to any point. Structure is extremely important in these cattle and making sure that they're sound off the front end and that they're also sound off the hind leg is going to be extremely important to the success of the project. When you start off with some kind of small structural problem, as the animal gets hit bigger and heavier, it only gets worse with age.